Hey guys, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. And today I want to ask you something. Um, if you look at me, do I look upset? Do I look worried? I hope I don't because I'm not. And this video is presented by BM Trading. Learn to code your own expert advisors. Link in the description. I think many, many people watching my stream lately, they think I would be worried or upset because the um, life account that I have here lost like eight point something K euro, 8,000 euro or more in the last month. But um, this is totally fine with me. And I think this is the level of like calmness that you should have when you're trading. And if you do not have this, then it's a very good sign that you are over leveraging. And today I want to talk a little bit about trading and leverage because I think it's, it's so important. And most people see trading as a way to become rich quickly. And it is definitely a way to become rich quickly, but it's not what I would recommend because if you, become rich quickly and everyone who did this in the past was using a lot of leverage and most likely too much leverage. And this is the only thing that separates trading pretty much from investing. It is the leverage. It's not the strategies, whatever, because the strategies, you can trade the strategies with different products. But the main difference when we compare trading to like normal investing is um, the leverage. Because if we are talking about classical investment or investing, we usually talk about unleveraged products. And with trading, we talk about leveraged products. What does this mean? It means that you can trade a lot or you can move a lot more capital with in your trading account than you could normally if you would trade unleveraged. And leverage can impact both sides. It impacts your profits, of course, and also your losses. And this is why it is possible to make a lot of profits with trading. It's not because the strategies are something groundbreaking, new technology. It's just leverage. But leverage goes both ways. Like you can win a lot, you can lose a lot. And that's that's pretty much what what trading is. It is really just using leverage. And then of course, most of these strategies are short term, short term stuff, which of course also means that you are most likely more active if you are trading. Um, and, and therefore many people tend to be like really active and use a lot of leverage. And this is also, in my opinion, what leads to the downfall of too many traders really, because most people get um, distracted by the marketing of uh, online trading gurus or trading influencers um, that pretend to become rich quickly with trading, but mostly it's because of selling stuff. Like I also do, like I make my money with selling stuff and not with trading. And therefore many people are yeah, distracted or misled by this image of becoming rich with with trading quickly and they do not like to see the risk that comes with it. But if you consider the risk, then it is almost impossible to become rich quickly with trading because, or at, at best it's more of a 50, 50 thing if you really over leverage. So this is why I would never recommend anyone to over leverage. And this is also coming back to the beginning of this video, why I am so, <laughs> absolutely chill at this point i lost like i think from the highest point in this account i lost at this uh, yeah at this moment i think i lost more than 10k if we have a look at this um yeah here the maximum balance was around twenty eight thousand, and I, i'm now at seventeen thousand. so you can see i lost more than 10k and this is of course verified on mql5 you can look this up and um I, i'm still pretty chill because what for me is important it's not the overall performance of the account. It is that it is in line with my strategy and which and with how I want to trade this account. And as you know, I explained this in many, many videos before, so I don't have to repeat myself here. I'm really going with the economy, with the indices. And if the indices are going down, like they are clearly doing here, of course, my account loses money. But because this is completely aligned like my performance and the like downfall of the indices i'm completely chill 
I'm not overreacting. I'm I'm not panicking. It's pretty much the opposite. Like the last month where I lost like this 8K, I, I live pretty much my best life here. I'm, I'm still in Vietnam. I live like 100 meters close to the beach. I was sipping cafes, a coffee in cafes for the last months pretty much, meeting friends. And this is only possible because I do not over leverage. So this is maybe the most important message and my biggest recommendation to, to every trader who wants to start trading. It, it, it makes no sense to over leverage because if you over leverage, it will have such a negative effect on your life. And I did this before. It's, it's just, it's messing with your mentals. Like if you are over leveraging, you cannot really enjoy the rest of your life because you constantly think about the trading profits or losses. It's just too volatile and that's why I, I cannot recommend it. And I'm, I, it took me a couple of years actually to get to this point where I realized that it is much more, there's much better to take a more conservative approach to trading and enjoy life instead of just focusing on trading and like make this the only, the only thing in your life because it's, uh, it's not worth it in my opinion. And, um, I got this like, I am so chill now because right now I'm trading for like in life accounts for almost 10 years. No, no, not 10 years, maybe like eight years, At eight years. I'm trading life accounts for the last like six or seven years. I was trading only very, very small accounts. And this is also what I recommend just to get the experience. And now I trade a little bit bigger accounts like this one here, but it's also not so big that it will have a strong negative impact on my mental if it's not going good. And this is what I recommend to anyone. Uh, like just trade with money that you could theoretically lose completely and see it more as a small percentage of your invested capital. And it should be like the risk percentage of the capital that you invest overall. And also what I learned in the, in the last few years is that even though you can have bad periods, like I see right now in this account, there's a bad period and it's lasting for like almost two months now, almost two months. This is uh, account is in a drawdown and we can see this again very, very nicely here. Like, uh, I don't know where, where can I see like, this is uh, February 2020, 2025. Now we have April. So it's about two months now. I think that this account is in a drawdown. So I'm not making money out of it. Instead, I'm losing money. And um, still I'm super confident because the last few years have taught me that even if strategies they definitely have long drawdown periods, but I realized it's completely normal. And this is what I learned over the years because I did so many back tests. I did so much live trading in actual live trading accounts, like with real money, with real market conditions. And this has taught me that even if a strategy is maybe not the best, if you are not over trading, it will most likely be break even or slightly negative, but it's not completely messing up your account. And this is what you like. This is the confidence that you get if you trade for multiple years, if you really watch your strategies for multiple months and years. And therefore, this is definitely what I recommend that every every young trader should do before starting to invest a lot of money, because in my opinion or from my experience, this is the the road or the path that leads to, to long-term success. And in my opinion, it's not the right way to just gamble in the, like immediately in the beginning, if you just picked up some strategy from someone online that is not proven or that you did not prove yourself because you will always lack the confidence and the trust in trading and the strategy if you are in a drawdown period. And many traders, they just do not have this long-term experience. They just do not realize how volatile the market really is and how how like trading cycles and periods work and stuff like that and and it's completely normal that you have long sideways periods in markets and long negative periods and in, in strategies and therefore you need some experience and confidence to like not go crazy in this period so this is why yeah i just recommend to like not go crazy on the trading do not make it the main priority in your life always see see it as a see it more as a hobby and uh, you can definitely make money with it you can also make a lot of money with it but also you should always remember that if you want to go big 
And if you want to become rich very quickly, there's a very high chance that you can also become poor very quickly or that you can lose your invested capital. And I just said that over a long period of time, most strategies are either sideways, a little bit negative or, or positive if you tested it correctly and if the markets are still there and in favor of your strategy. But this only this only works if you are really trading long term. But if you over leverage, if you take too much risk and if you want to have the quick money, then in my opinion, it's more of a gamble. It's like 50 50 chance. You can make it. You can not make it. It's a little bit more luck if you over leverage and if you only have like enough money to uh, survive a drawdown of two or three weeks because it is just not possible for any strategy. And that's my opinion to predict the outcome in the next one, two, three, four weeks or even the next one or two months. But yeah, this is my experience from over eight years now of live trading and actual live trading accounts with short term trading strategies, the ones that I also use in this live stream. And this is why I, why I try to to show like this stream live on on YouTube. So you maybe get a good impression of how trading can actually look like if you do not gamble. And um, don't get me wrong, like what I show here is it's not a super conservative approach. Like there's still a, a big chance of me losing money or even this whole account. This is what also many people stated already in the comments uh, in the chat of this live stream. If the market goes down even further, like if we see really like 40, 50 percent drawdowns in the major indices, uh, I might crash this account. So <laughs> and this is not cannot consider be like completely low, low risk, but but still it's like a very personal thing. Like for me, as I said before, like this is not money that I need for for my daily life. I, I could afford or I, it, it would be OK for me to lose this account. It would not be nice, nice, uh, but it would not like mess up my my life. And this is, I think, the the level of uh, calmness or the level of financial security that you should always keep when trading leveraged products and, and risky short term trading strategies. Um, but yeah, that's just a little insight. I, I just want to have like a little chit chat about this and and share some of my thoughts because I realized that um, in the in the stream there are a lot of negative comments. People are freaking out because of the drawdown and I have the feeling that it's more like the the viewers are freaking out because I'm I'm pretty calm at this point. This is not a drawdown that's that's leaving me sleepless in the night. Okay, bye.